Welcome to the first tutorial in the Mechanisms mod. We're going to be going over today about a few of the basic functionality, including getting first power, some of the item basic items involved in the mod, and some of the machinery behind it. Let's get started. Now the first thing that we're going to want to make is a heat generator and a metallurgic infuser. Because we can't actually store en any energy or make any cables until we have a few things from the metallurgic infuser. The recipes are as, as shown. So this is the heat generator, which is just a little bit of osmium, which is one of the which is the ingot that mechanism adds. Copper, which you can find in the ground, some iron pieces, uh, some pieces of wood, and a furnace. This is what osmium looks like. It's about a blue and grayish looking ore, and it smelts into osmium ingots. So, in order to make energy, we can go ahead and put any type of fuel. I have coal for usage for this. Now, it can transforms into lava and then it starts making power. So right now, since I have the heat generator right next to the metallurgic infuser, it's sending all of the power it's making into the metallurgic infuser's internal buffer. So now that we have some power out of the way, and we can go ahead and start making stuff with this infuser. Now, do note this does run out of fuel quite quickly, so you'll want to find an alternate power source once you're done using the heat generator and you have all the necessary things you need in order to move on. So now that we have some power inside of here, let's make some materials. Let's go ahead and start off with making steel. So the first thing we want to do is add coal to this purple slot. This purple slot represents what's called an infuser item, and coal is one of those items. So go ahead and put that much in there. So now it represents 160 pieces of carbon. Then we're going to put our, our iron in there. And through the power of editing magic, it's finished. Now granted, this would take about two minutes for it to finish, and there are speed upgrades that you can add to your machinery, but we'll cover that later in the tutorial. So now we have enriched iron. Now this isn't good for anything yet. We have to actually infuse it again with more coal in order to make it into steel dust. So we'll go ahead and take care of that now. Through the power of editing magic, we've elapsed two minutes again to make steel dust. Now in this circumstance, you would just smelt the steel dust like you would any other metal normally to abstain steel ingots. Now I'm going to go ahead and show a couple of other things that metallurgic infuser can make. The next thing I want to demonstrate is how to make a enriched alloy. Unless I think that's what it's called, right? <laughs> um, you'll want to get some redstone for this. So I want to make four pieces of an alloy, which we I put four pieces of redstone in. So I drop, there we go. So that's going to make some different types of alloys for this. And this I will wait for, because I'm just probably going to make one. See, right now we're already running out of power because of the coal, coal producer isn't the coal, the heat generator rather is not enough to keep up with the with the with the infuser. Cannot talk today, so I'll go and put some more in so we can keep doing this tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the rest of the iron for now because I have another thing I want to show that also uses redstone as an infuser. Right now we've made two enriched alloy. This this block this item rather is so fundamental for the rest of the machinery. So you'll want to make sure you have a constant supply of these items around. The next thing you'll want to make sure you have is basic control circuits, and you can make those with redstone and two in, in osmium. So I'll go ahead and make two more of those as well. All right, looks like it's almost finished. Now I have a basic control circuit. I'll go ahead and let that finish up. So I don't think there's anything else to demonstrate right here, but now that we have we have the ability to make control circuits and enrich alloy and steel, we're now good to go to move on to the next part of the section. Right here represents a normal power supply that you'll want to move to after you've met, used your infuser for a little while. This right here is a basic universal cable. This can transport energy to any block that you might need. Now I say basic because there's actually multiple tiers of universal cable. If I say anything like basic or advanced, that means there might be something above it or even below it. We'll cover the next of the upgrades to these type of blocks in the next video. This right here is a basic energy cube. This is essentially a battery that can hold any energy coming in and also send it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and start burning some coal in this one. There we go, making some energy. And while, oh, I guess it already did set up. So right now it's sending energy through the cable to the energy cube. So as it's filling up pretty quickly, but not super quickly. So by default, it accepts input from any side, but let's say I want to put a, a cable right here to a machine and I want it to go that way. So if I can copy that, 
it's there's no energy inside of it if you look up at the top top center there's no energy so we have to go ahead and go to side configuration and set this side to output right now it's getting energy and it's completely full the recipes for the basic universal cable is pretty simple if i even bother to set them up <laughs> we're going to go ahead and pretend that recipe mix up never happened so the recipe for your basic universal cable is pretty simple it's two pieces of steel and a piece of redstone and we already covered how to make steel very shortly ago the basic energy cube represents our first test in our knowledge of mechanism and involves making an energy tablet and a steel casing which i have the recipes for those over here the steel casing is in pretty much every recipe that involve that makes a machine and mechanism it's pretty simple to make it's four pieces of steel four pieces of glass and a piece of osmium ingots that makes one steel casing and you can use that just about any other machine this one is an energy tablet it involves two enriched alloys four pieces of redstone and three pieces of gold and it makes one for this recipe we'll need two we'll need two energy tablets and the steel casing and just a few pieces of iron and redstone now granted if you run out of energy in this basic energy queue or run out of room for more energy you might need to upgrade it and for that we'll cover that in the next tutorial so you're probably wondering where's the rest of machines and mechanism it can't this can't be the whole mod right well i got you covered there this right here is the next evolution power generation and we have a basic setup involving a energy cube some universal cable and two machines first i'm going to go ahead and show the wind generator the wind generator is a passive energy making system so it looks like this it looks like a wind turbine but they called it a wind generator for some reason is this also represents a major test in mechanism skill it involves two energy tablets three pieces of osmium ingots an enriched alloy and a basic control sticker which we all learned how to make just a while back ago you can also it's worth noting you can also do l shift to see the details of it how much energy it has stored in it and if you do l shift in number pad 8 as follows or that or it even makes it i guess that's not going to work today <laughs> anyways though now that we have this already made it's going to go ahead and make power on its own it does not need any type of fuel route while it's not making a lot of energy right now if we were to place it say way up in the sky at y 250 it'd be making tons of power so now we're sending it to our basic energy cube. Now I've already set up the configuration on how to send it to these two machines. So we'll go ahead and leave that alone for now. This is the enrichment chamber. This is one of the most powerful machines in mechanism. This is the recipe as follows. Pretty simple. Basic control circuits, a steel casing, and you know the rest. This has so many uses. We can all, we can, the first major usage is that we can double ores with it. I'll go ahead and use gold for an example. So, we'll go ahead and process that up. And like I said, this machine also accepts upgrades. So we'll go and wait that for that to finish. And we have two gold dust. And we smelt that in the alloy smelter, which is a powered furnace. It will make two gold ingots. So you can get two, you can get two ingots for the price of one ore. Now, the last, the last two things I want to show are the fact that you can make these machines interact with each other see so if i wanted to have it accept things from the top i could put a chest right here and it would suck things from the top without me even having to put anything in it and let's say i want to set up an ore doubling technique that i don't have to even do anything that i can just drop my ores in a chest and move on so we can go ahead and get rid of that if we right click on it you can go if you right click or left click it does not matter you can cycle between different modes on the item on the configuration screen i'm going to go ahead and set this to output because i want my ore my ore dust to go straight to that alloy smelter. We'll go and show. We'll go ahead and do that while I demonstrate the recipe for an alloy smelter. It's very simple. It's just two pieces of glass, four pieces of redstone, and two control circuits, which we also learned how to do earlier. So as you can see, it even as you can see. Oh, I forgot. It's worth mentioning that you probably need to set the input on the other machine as well. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to input. Even pros make mistakes sometimes. You also need to set to auto eject. So now it's already processing that ore. And it'll go and it will end up right here. Now you probably need to have some form of item item tube take this over to put it into a chest, but we'll cover the different types of item tubes and mechanism in another video. The last thing I want to demonstrate is another useful feature of the enrichment chamber. 
Remember how we had to use one piece for every pe every ingot we put inside the metallurgic infuser? No more. Instead of wasting entire stacks of materials, we can put the different infuser items inside the enrichment chamber, and it'll process into a compressed redstone block, into a compressed redstone item. This acts as eight infuser items. So we'll go and let that finish. Compressed redstone. And I can put this inside of here. And it acts as eight redstone. So rather than putting eight pieces of redstone in, I can compress a piece of redstone inside the enricher and it becomes 80 redstone. So now we can put a bunch of iron, we can put a bunch of iron in and get a bunch of alloys. I hope this video was useful for you to, for learning the basics of mechanism. I'll be back soon with another tutorial handling advanced power generation, some more machinery, and the different types of item transport and mechanism. Stay tuned!